sharing. This is this is the sharing table. The sharing table. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try some of this? Yes. Oh, I'm just. I don't want to take it for a bite. Whose was this? This was ours. Ours. <laughs> ours. Does anyone else want to try some? Try some. Good guys. Life, Life is good. good. Dessert was good. Life is gonna be very short if you eat all that without me. The, the whole issue of um, conditional versus unconditional love and, and what, is, what is really possible for us to, to do as human beings in terms of our efforts to love. How much can we love? And then how much can love, God love? In the creation story and then we also did um, in the symposium. Right. It talks about like the searching for that one other person and for unity and like the stories and how they're different. I think that that's like also talks about sexual love like with God because God created Adam and Eve to be together as like one union and then also with the in Plato's it's like they were created together in Zeus or the God whoever created them to be together but like I said now it's like that's kind of lost so we don't think of it like that but that is I think like desires connected with that love for God. Because when you have like that true calling with someone else, like a connection, which like I I hope it exists, but that it's just like we lose track of that. I think all these subconscious things, you're agonizing over whether they're gonna call or not. You get jealous over the slightest thing. <laughs> so in that way, like you suffer, but at the same time, I think it also cures like suffering from loneliness. Like a lot of people just oh. traumatize themselves over being lonely, and I think love cures it. Someone dies, you. You have a love of their life. You appreciate who they were at that time, and you grow from it. You so you don't you don't suffer that. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're, I feel like if you're if you're solely attracted to someone and you are in love with them based on their looks, like, I mean, my thought is kind of like after a while you start to see their personality and you fall in love with that. Like it's a process. It's not something that's just like that's it and that's all there is to it. In my hallucination, I saw my beloved's flower garden. In my vertigo, in my dizziness, in my drunken haze, whirling and dancing like a spinning wheel. I saw myself as the source of existence. I was there in the beginning, and I was the spirit of love. Now I am sober. There is only the hangover and the memory of love and only the sorrow.